Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Bosscoin YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up MetaMask to work with the Binance Smart Chain, which MetaMask by default is built all around the Ethereum blockchain. And I'm also going to go over how to seamlessly turn your BNB Binance coins into BSC Binance Smart Chain token coins it's the same coin but it's changing blockchains the binance coin has its own bnb blockchain and the binance smart chain also uses bnb coins but they need to be converted to work on their blockchain i'm going to show you an easy way to do that without an intermediary in today's video we learn these methods by trying to stay up to date with decentralized finance DeFi, and everything that's going on binance smart chain is basically binance's attempt to compete with ethereum because ethereum has garnered so much just interest adoption and usage with all of the whole DeFi craze with most of it being built on their blockchain so binance is literally spending millions of dollars to encourage projects to participate and build on their binance smart chain which is an ethereum clone today's video will not be covering how to set up metamask just general speaking and we have a video guide specifically on how to set up metamask today's video is also not going to serve as a big binance chain smart chain overview and it's not also not going to cover setting up the Binance Smart Chain specific wallet because we have a video on that as well. So let's go ahead and run 10 seconds of Tales, the best Shiba Inu in the world ever, and then jump into today's video tutorial. Again, guys, links out in the video description below if you want to learn what is the Binance Smart Chain and how to set up the BSC wallet. So that's linked out. And from there, there is a, there's also links out to download or add the Binance Smart Chain uh, wallet app to your browser. It looks like this. But when we go to the Chrome store, it's not there right now. It is still online on Firefox. So you can still use the method we're using in today's video if you use the add-on via the Firefox browser. I will absolutely bet that the Binance Smart Chain wallet will be back in the Chrome store sometime soon. I don't know why it's down, but again, I have to keep checking the link. In the future, it'll probably be there, not in the near future, and be working. Again, we're, uh, one more reminder, we're not going over the basics of setting up MetaMask. We have a video guide exactly on that so for today's video you do need to have metamask installed we're using it on brave it's a chrome fork you can use it on google chrome whatever you want to do and so you need to have metamask installed and you also need the binance chain wallet and today's video is focusing on setting up and using metamask with the binance smart chain but we need the binance chain wallet in order to seamlessly convert bnb coins to the Binance Smart Chain blockchain, which I'll just go ahead and explain that right now. So this mainly revolves around the fact that if you're a US citizen, which I am, and you go to Binance US and you get signed up, referral link in the video description below, if you do choose to do it, use our link. It really, really matters a lot when you guys support us through that stuff and lets us just kind of do what we do. Anyway, so you get set up and all that, you buy some Binance BNB coins on there and you want to interact with the Binance Smart Chain. So you go to withdraw, but for some freaking reason, I'm sure this will change one day in the future, you can't withdraw BEP20 tokens, only BEP2. BEP2 is just a BNB coin, BNB token on their Binance blockchain. A little confusing, a lot of the similar naming taking place here. Whereas if we go to Binance.com, you know the exchange everyone can use except for US citizens, thanks government. Uh, here you can withdraw BEP2, Binance Chain BNB tokens, or you can withdraw Binance Smart Chain BSC BEP20 tokens. They're both a BNB coin, right? But they're on different blockchains. So this is what makes it pretty easy if you can use this. You just click this, and so I could come in here. I'm already on the Binance Smart Chain. I'll explain how to do that here in a second. But I just grab that address, click and I can go ahead and withdraw my coins. And just like that is done, you, you know, you have now funded your Binance Smart Chain wallet via MetaMask. And you'll notice I'm on the BSC mainnet. Again, I'll explain how to do that here in a second. But the really cool feature here is that when you look at this, I click over to Ethereum mainnet. I'm using the same Ethereum address, but you know, this is my Ethereum address via MetaMask for Ethereum's blockchain. 
I click over here to BSC mainnet, and now I'm using the same exact address and interacting with the Binance Smart Chain. Super cool stuff, right? So just kind of simplify your life. One MetaMask, one address, using two different blockchains. Very cool. Okay, so here's the deal. If you can't withdraw straight to this address, because you can only get the Binance coins, right? Here's the easiest way to get involved. You need to download the Binance Smart Chain Wallet like uh, browser extension, which we just showed you on Google Chrome currently down and then uh, Firefox currently up. So with this, you just grab, there's two options in here, Binance Chain Network and Binance Smart Chain. You will go ahead and grab your BNB address, which associates again with the Binance normal chain. Now, this is definitely kind of a confusing thing. You put that address in and you withdraw as many coins as you want to. Click submit, gets approved by the exchange. Boom, it shows up here. I already put one coin in here. Okay, so here's where it's really cool. You could just click over to the, the Binance smart chain, right? You could grab this address, click back over to Binance Chain, and then from here, I could just send it to the address that's built into this Binance Chain wallet, and I could interact with the Binance Smart Chain that way. But here's the deal, is that some dApps built on the Binance Smart Chain, they don't work with this. They only work with MetaMask. For example, PancakeSwap, which is the most popular dApp on Binance Smart Chain right now. So what do you do? Okay, actually pretty simple. I come over to MetaMask and you don't even have to have it set up with the BSC mainnet yet, but you won't be able to access the coins until you do that. So I'll go ahead and show you that. I mean, it's, it's the same address. I'm on the Ethereum mainnet, haven't customized anything. I grab my address. I come over here. These are BNB coins on the Binance blockchain. You don't need a memo. You put in your amount. I'm just gonna go ahead and use one that should cover the transaction fee for me. It'll note cross chain transfer to the Binance Smart Chain. That's exactly what I want. And that is the unique function that's taking place here that is converting these coins from one blockchain to another so I can participate with DeFi dApps and everything else on the Binance Smart Chain. But again, it's not in that address, it's over here in MetaMask. But it's not going to show up when you're on the Ethereum chain. You need to switch to the Binance Smart Chain. You may remember my uh, address. It only had 15 coins. Now it's got 16 coins. Just like that, I have went ahead and funded it. And I've turned Binance coins into Binance Smart Chain coins. But what about setting up the Binance Smart Chain like mainnet here? Well, pretty simple. There's a guide official guide via Binance I'll have linked out and I'm also just going to be walking this walking you through this um, in today's video again they go over the basics of setting up MetaMask we already covered that stuff uh, but you can refer to it here or in our video guide from there you go to the settings page right and the settings page is simply going to be clicking this icon up here and we'll go over to Ethereum mainnet so it'll be a little more accurate we go to settings you come all the way down to what is it privacy networks i want networks networks right in front of me and from here you will add a network again i've already done it but i'll show you when you click add network you have all these options you need to fill out okay and so again i've already done this so remember you're on the same page and once you fill those out you're putting in bsc mainnet i think you can really just name it whatever you want you need a rpc url okay this is how it's going to basically query that blockchain and there's a bunch of options you can choose from they even have all of these options for you so again choose whatever you want to do here but for me for whatever reason i chose to use dataseed1.binance.org i'm using the chain id of ox38 because that's what they recommend. The symbol is BNB, but you'll notice, well, here's an important thing. Okay, it's it's annoying, it keeps like going in and out. Uh, what you can do to make that a little bit nicer in general. Okay, so you can just expand the view and it'll leave it up. 
So again, I'm in the settings and I'm coming down to network and I'm on the BSC mainnet one. And an important thing is it recommends BNB capitalized. But for whatever reason, mine wasn't working when it was doing that. It previously worked, MetaMask had an update and then it was not working. All I had to do was just simply change it from BNB capitalized to BNB lowercase. And then it worked. You can put a Block Explorer URL in if you'd like. I recommend that. We have BSC scan in. It's really the most popular option for this stuff. Uh, but sometimes little things like capitalizations can be can really trip you up and you get really frustrated. Like this doesn't work. But sometimes it's something so simple, and just weird and, and annoying that can again just trip things up, right? And uh, that's it. I mean, you're just putting in putting in that information. You can mess around with the test net if you want. Um, I'm personally I'm not really interested in doing that. Um, I'm interested in actually using this with DApps on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, so again, when you come over to PancakeSwap, and I'm not promoting this or endorsing it or whatever else, it's just an example here. But if you try to connect here with your the Binance Smart Chain wallet, there's no option. Okay, well, for whatever reason, when I click all of these, they're all working, but they are all populating through the same address that is installed in my MetaMask. So anyway, the point is, is just that it doesn't work with this wallet. It does work. And, and you may be thinking, oh, well, you're showing the main net wallet. Well, it doesn't work with the smart chain wallet. That's the whole point. That's my point here. It does work with MetaMask. And there's going to be other things in the future that have the same problem because a lot of these or really almost really all of these are cloned and forked from the Ethereum blockchain. And they all use MetaMask, not this Binance smart chain MetaMask wannabe fork thing. But this wallet has an excellent function of making cross chain transfers so freaking easy. It is worth that alone if you want to participate with the Binance Smart Chain. I'd like to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Bityard, for being the world's number one cryptocurrency contracts exchange, or so they claim. And they also claim to have lower slash obviously better fees than, than BitMEX. They've got some interesting sign-up bonuses, so you can use our link in the video description below, join their contracts and derivatives exchange, and you can click on promotion and then drop down to promotion, and you can see all these tasks that you can complete and you'll be awarded USDT on their platform for doing those things. So that's really it, guys. If we go over to DAP Radar, pretty cool site. We click this, and I'll have a link down below so you don't have to go to Google for it. You click on BSC, Binance Smart Chain, and from here, you can see the rankings of all the current apps. So we go like 30 days, right? And we can see the most popular apps on the Binance Smart Chain when ranked by a different thing, which it's defaulting here just to users. But anyway, I'm not trying to shill the Binance Smart Chain to you guys or anything like that. Uh, my point here is just, you know, here's a guide on how to participate. And especially, I really like to offer like tips for if you're a US citizen, because the way we get blocked out of so many different cryptocurrency exchanges and, and just sites and, and services, it really sucks. So a lot of times we have to find roundabout ways to participate. So again, if after this video, if I did a decent job, you understand how to easily convert your BNB coins to BSC coins, which again, they're both Binance coins, but on two different blockchains. And then you also see how to set up MetaMask, which really you're just adding a network to it. You're just making it so that it can sync up and read the Binance Smart Chain network. Again, same address, different blockchain though, different balances, and you know, whole different world there. But you use it from the same little extension. You can you even have the same private key or seed phrase to generate these addresses. I mean, it's the same address again. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. We're chasing 200,000 subscribers, which I, I say this like almost every video, but I still think that's freaking insane. Hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on the Binance Smart Chain. They could be positive or negative. I don't care. Let me know your thoughts below. As always, I'll see you on the next video and thanks for watching.